afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great Class B camper van value from Parkway RV Center. Folks, we just got in this 2000 model Road Trek 190 popular. This is a one owner van with only 51,000 miles. Uh, we just drove it 500 plus miles in. It did great. This is one of the most fuel efficient motorhomes you can buy. It's got the 5.2 liter. 318 cubic inch Dodge V8 that runs great, that gets right around 15 miles a gallon. Uh, this van is something that anybody can drive from a teenage driver to a 90 year old RV veteran. If you can drive a, a vehicle, a car, or a truck, you can drive this van without any problem. Uh, this unit's knee deep in Michelin tires. And like I said, it's a one owner. The same people have owned this van for 16 plus years. You can see the outside looks great. It's not faded. Y'all pardon, I got this generator running on the one beside it. Got the rear door. Got the awning. Uh, this is a nice unit, folks. It doesn't have a trailer hitch on it, so it hasn't been towing anything. Which that 318, you can put your little class three receiver on it if you want to tow something. No problem. The not beat up, it's not faded, there's all fiberglass, it's a no maintenance fiberglass roof. Everything works on it, I've got it plugged into power right now. Now folks, this unit does not have a generator. Some of these vans do, some of them don't. Really don't need a generator. Uh, because the dash air is ice cold, that dash air will pretty much keep this entire uh, Class B camper van comfortable for your passengers or when you're driving down the road. So, and they got the dash heat, and you got a furnace, and everything just like a big motorhome's got. Um, as you can see, the unit looks great. The glass is perfect. Got the awning. We make sure that's good. Let's take a look inside this little Class B camper van. Folks, for those of you who have been shopping for these, I don't have to tell you how hard it is to find these vans in this price range. And to find one of these with only 50,000 miles, folks, that's very rare. Uh, these little vans tend to have a lot more miles on them because people use them a lot more. And the main reason being, let me cut, shut this door so I can see that dash here. The main reason being, it's amazing how well insulated this thing is for sound. I've got a generator running right beside the door and look how quiet it is. But folks, the main reason people put a lot of miles on these are because they're so easy to drive and park. People use them for day trips, weekend trips. Some people even use them for daily drivers. And to find one of these with 51,000 miles, especially one that I can sell for under 25 grand, is something that doesn't happen very often. Uh, you can look online for Class B camper vans for under 25,000 you may find three or four were listed in the entire United States. These things are in such high demand and short supply that they're basically in a market all of their own. Um, as a matter of fact, folks, every one of these vans I get, the last seven or eight that I've, get, I, I've gotten in under 25 grand, have sold within 24 to 48 hours. This one right here is going on eBay. It's going on about 20 other different websites. I have no doubt in my mind this one's going to sell just as fast. 51,000 miles, folks. That's it. That's extremely low mileage. It's a 2,000 model. It's a one owner. Uh, everything looks great. No signs of water stains around the skylights or anywhere else. You know, Road Tricks, uh, you know, they're known for the three skylights and the roof. It's got a table that sits up right here. Uh, both the front chairs swivel around for party seating. You've got a third chair back here. And the third chair actually makes into a bed that uses, when you swivel the passenger seat around, this third chair lays down flat, so you've actually got an extra sleeping uh, capacity there for a third person. But you can sleep up to three in this little camper van. And it's so easy to drive and park, folks. Of course, in here is your table that sets up right here. And then you got a second table that goes in the back. There's no smoke and no pet odors. And after purchase, my RV techs are going to go through a very expense, extensive checklist uh, and make sure it passes everything on that checklist. And we're more than happy uh, to send you a copy of that checklist before you buy it on eBay or before you buy it on one of the other websites we use. 
uh, what my RV RV salespeople they're non-commissioned they're more than happy to fax or email you a copy of our checklist so you can see what all it covers which is pretty much everything on these little fans the only thing we don't cover is dash air it's one of those things if it works it works if it doesn't that's just part of it but this one right here folks believe it or not is ice cold and I'll even prove it to you I've got my digital thermometer I you know I know a lot of people say this is ice cold or whatever but I try to prove it to you when I can or when I think to bring my thermometer with me as you can see we're sitting here at idle it's a hundred almost a hundred degrees outside today and I think I checked the temperature on the asphalt this is sitting on and it's 123 and we're blowing out of the mid 30s that's cold folks I mean it's literally cooling the entire van so that's what I'm saying you don't really need a generator and roof air for one of these little vans now if you're in a bigger motor home a class C or a class A yeah uh, on a class C and A that air is useless that front dash here that's why most of them don't work because nobody ever uses them because they're absolutely pointless in a big motor home because uh, it's not going to do anything barely even keep the driver comfortable but and plus take away power from your motor on these big A's and C's but on one of these little class B's that dash air is all you need I mean if you're hooked up at a campground you're going to be hooked into shore power you can run your roof air then this unit's got a DSI water heater it's got a three-way RV refrigerator freezer got a stove top got a microwave it's got everything a big RV's got just shrunk down in an easy to drive and park package here in the back you've got a full queen size bed that table is removable it lays down you got your roof air up there and the fact that it's got a window unit instead of a uh, rooftop unit can save you a lot of money if you ever have to replace them because I mean let's be honest you can buy a window unit for a couple hundred bucks and you're gonna spend twelve thirteen hundred dollars replacing it the rooftop unit and plus those use less amperage too because you don't need that much BTU to cool this little area off. I mean if that dash air is cooling this off, that window unit right there should be more than enough to keep it cool. Got a fantastic vent fan. This unit has plenty of storage. They didn't waste any space, folks. That's one thing I love about the road tracks. They don't waste a corner. They don't waste any space at all. Of course, you could put your TV in here if you wanted to or hang it up virtually anywhere. But everything, everywhere you look, every corner, every nook and cranny is a shell for storage. And this unit does have the bathroom with the shower. You fold this right here out. And I'm going to try to do this one-handed, so y'all forgive me if I don't get it just 100% perfect. You put that table out and... Well, there's a shower curtain which is not in it right now which we're, we'll put one in it and it goes all the way around this area and you can you've got your shower you take it out here you close it all up you got your toilet in here if you need it you know it's not something that you know I'm not gonna say this is something you're gonna take on a six-month cross-country trip and expect to take a comfortable shower every day but you know this is something to use if you have to and it's there so might as well take advantage of it. and it does have a six gallon water heater DSI water heater just like a uh, any other motor home is going to have so you're going to have hot water you got black tank gray tank fresh water potable tank you got all your tanks just like a big motor home just in a small camper van package and what do we got up here so I didn't even open some of these yet so yeah more storage like I said, they don't waste anything. Even this right here pops out. And there's your books and manuals too, so that's included. And I don't know what this is, but I guess it's probably a screen. If I had to guess, it's probably a, some kind of screen for the windshield. But there it is. Hadn't even been taken out of the package yet. Whatever it is. Got a furnace. There's your third seat. Folks, this unit is only $24.9, and it's very, very rare to find one of these with 51,000 miles in this kind of condition for this price. Look online, folks. There's none of these to be found, not in this price range. This unit's going to go on eBay, which more than likely that's where it's going to sell, but I'm going to put it on all my other websites, too, that I use. Uh, folks, this unit... This video right here in the next 24 hours is probably going to be seen about 300 plus times. 
Uh, I'm probably going to have a couple of thousand people see this ad in the next 24 to 48 hours, and somebody's going to buy it. There are literally thousands of people wanting these little vans right now across the United States, especially in this price range. And here's the thing, folks. There's probably not a handful of them available for sale at this price range with low miles. So you get what I'm getting at. This is not going to sit around long because there's such a high demand for it. Financing is available with interest rates as low as 3%. Now, folks, I will warn you up front because these little vans are in such high demand and I don't want to have any shocks or any surprises. You're probably going to, if you're going to finance this van, you're going to have to put down a few thousand dollars, several thousand. Uh, main reason being, folks, is if the NADA book value on these little vans and the, and the actual true market value are polar opposites. Normally, NADA is pretty good about being pretty close to real market value, but they have really off on these vans. I have to go to a dealer auction to buy these vans sometimes, folks, and at us as a dealer, sometimes we have to pay twice retail value for these vans because they're in such high demand even those i have to pay that much for folks sell in 24 to 48 hours it's just one of those things that you can throw the book away if you're trying to buy one of these for under nada for this price range with low miles you're going to be looking for years folks and you'll probably never find it but folks i'm going to tell you if you're in the market you understand what these vans are what kind of demand they are this is going to make you a nice van it's going to save you money you're going to enjoy it and it's something that if you ever decide to sell i promise you as soon as you put this thing online it will sell i don't care if it's four or five years from now folks it, it will sell just as quick as it will today so keep that in mind there is such a high demand for these things that if you ever decide to sell it you're never going to have a problem getting a buyer for it i can give you my personal guarantee on that folks uh, inside it's just a nice van sleeps up to three people it's 24 9 wheel trade we have no extra dock fees prep fees dealer fees of any kind other dealers try to average about 10 percent markup in fees in other words if they're asking 24 9 for a unit they're going to hit you up with about 2500 dollars in dock fees and prep fees and customer fees and freight fees and title fees and temporary tag they come up with different names for them every year but they're all 100 percent dealer profit they're all ripoff fees don't fall victim to that folks these things right here uh they're hot they're possible to find and this one's going to sell quickly um we charge no extra fees we do offer nationwide delivery anywhere in the united states you just pay whatever it costs us to get this van to you and get my driver back home not a dime more if you uh, want to fly in drive this little van home just call ahead make arrangements with your salesperson so that the unit's checked out and ready to go by my certified rv techs and we'll pick you up for free at the chattanooga tennessee airport during business hours and bring you back to the lot go over the rv with you show you how to operate everything and do the paperwork and you can drive it home easy as that folks we have buyers that fly in every single week to pick this pick rvs up and drive them home from all over the country we sell over 500 used rvs a year we're known for having the lowest prices on the internet that's why we sell so many rvs all across the country folks we're family owned and operated for over 48 years one of the oldest and most successful independently used uh, owned used rv dealerships in the country uh, folks, we're not a corporate dealer. We're not a franchise dealer. We sell used RVs. We sell them less than anybody else. We don't have commission salespeople. We don't mark interest rates up on financing like other RV dealers do. We're very, very easy to buy from. Stress-free. Our buyers love the way we do business by not having commission salespeople. Plus, it saves you money, too, because other RV dealerships have to mark their units up. Uh, additional 25% just to cover the 25% of the gross profit they pay their commission salespeople. In other words, they don't pay their salespeople. You do by paying thousands more for the same RV you can buy here for thousands less just to cover their commission. Folks, all my salespeople are salary based only. They get paid the same. Doesn't matter if you buy this motor home or don't buy it. It doesn't matter if you even buy one from here or not as far as their check's concerned. That's the way our buyers like it. That's the only way we do it. Been doing it like that for almost half a century and obviously it works very, very well. Thank you for watching my video. This unit's going to be quick, sell quick. Don't be surprised if this video is three or four days old and it's already sold or have a deposit on it because these things are just impossible to find 
I mean, I can, I probably buy a hundred Class A's and Class E's to every one of these I can find. And it's not for lack of trying, believe me. We, we look on the internet every day to try to find these things. And most of them in this price range are, are way too miley or, or junk. And the fact that we can find one every once in a while in this price range with low miles and a one owner that's in this kind of condition is really a rare treat for us and I'm sure for you too. And this one's going to sell quick, folks. 24.9 will trade. That price, of course, like all of our Class Bs, are firm uh, because you just can't find them. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.